Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And in this little mini-series I'm putting together, we're going to Mars. It's been a long time since I've done anything like that. And I felt like I was ready to maybe take on that challenge, although it's been a bumpy ride so far. Things have been pretty sloppy. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll refine things if I continue to use Orbiter over the next, you know, months, uh, weeks and months to come. Things will get, you know, things will get smoother as I go. Let me go ahead and switch camera views here, and let's unpause the simulation. And when we left off, uh, I just kind of paused because we were getting close to 20 minutes on the video, and we're just warping time forward, trying to get to a point where it might make sense to do a mid-course correction. And the number, what I'm watching to, to determine that is what my closest approach is to Mars. And it's been holding pretty stable right here. So I'm thinking it's probably not going to improve, but you, we still have, let me just take a quick look, 945, we're at 83. So we have 100 days to go still. So I'm not trying to be in a big rush. Okay, now actually, now I'm going to do the mid-course because I saw that number tick up ever so slightly. So I'm thinking that means it's just going to get worse as we go forward. So now would be a good time to do a maneuver. So we're going to go forward. Uh, actually, we'll stay here on this side for now. No, we'll go forward on this side. I'm going to turn maneuver mode on. And we're going to set our maneuver date just a little bit out into the future. So let's go to hyper. So we're currently at 9730. So let's set it for... Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take to set up the maneuver. So we'll just go with something like that. And we're, let's start with prograde with just a little bit. And we're watching our closest approach here, and that's coming down with prograde. But it looks to me like, you know, that's a lot of prograde, and it's not coming down super fast. So we're just going to reset that variable and try something else. Let's try outward. And I think outwards having a more significant, I think. It seems like a big amount of, hmm, it's a big, uh, okay, that, yeah, that, hmm, that's a lot. <laughs> so let's, uh, we'll probably need some outward, some prograde, but I feel like we should be able to do this for 75, Delta V, but maybe, you know, hard to say because my plan wasn't the greatest. So a little bit of plane change. So that's not looking super helpful. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and reset that. And let's start with prograde and outward. So adding in some prograde was helping. So let's start there. Let's add in some outward. Ugh, man, it's so expensive. That's helping. I mean, I'm going to do the burn regardless of what it costs, but... I just I have some sense of what it should cost and this is too much but I don't know I don't know the total cost yet because you, you can't just add the two numbers together it's uh, you know some combination of those so that's helping but that overshot so let's go for that for now and prograde that is not helping, so let's take out some of that prograde. All right, let's overshoot in this direction. So we'll go, say, like there. Wait, I need to go one more past. And then we'll overshoot in this direction. That is so expensive. Take out the prograde. Overshoot in that direction. Uh, 
overshoot in that direction, and we'll just go back and forth till we get there. Overshoot in that direction. And back and forth we go. Maybe go down to a more granularity at this point. And that's Mars. But I think maybe we're, maybe we can plan on a, um, have, maybe, maybe we can plan on getting a target altitude at this point. Okay, so 43 minimum altitude with the inclination of 114. So that's slightly retrograde, I believe. I don't think I really care. But I guess, let's see what happens. Let me check my date, 92. Okay, we still have time. <clears throat> so what happens if we orbit on that side instead? Inclination is 64, that feels a little better to me. So we'll do that. And we'll bring down our altitude. Mm, somewhere like that for now. Probably have to update again or uh, adjust again. But we'll go with this for now. How much is this burn going to cost? Yeah, that's that's too expensive. But yeah, I, I feel like my, I feel like my planning had been better. This this should cost this shouldn't cost more than like again like seventy five to a hundred maximum. Okay. Let's go through our variables, and we'll go ahead and turn on auto alignment now, if I can find it, there it is. Warp time forward to get up all this settled up quicker, which is a waste of fuel, but <laughs> this is hardly a fuel planning mission. And now we'll come over to burn time, we'll get the maneuver, and warp time forward. So it's an 11 second burn. And here comes the burn. That is a big correction. All right, auto center off, maneuver mode off, uh, close approach 32, add in a bit of velocity because it always cuts it short. And now let's view the encounter before I finish it up. Translation. And we'll translate the last little bit. Something like... Something like that. All right, we are... I think we just got five days. I think we're getting there five days faster now. So 940 and we're at 834. So we still got a ways to go. Let's warp time forward. And watch all of our hard planning go out the window most likely. Now it looks like things are holding together pretty well. Let's check one thing. I saw that minimum altitude coming down, so I just did a quick burst of translation just to put it back up <clears throat> a bit higher. I might do that a couple times, depending on how it goes. So where we were, eight eight six zero basically nine four zero. So got a white well while to go. I think we'll definitely get to Mars in this part of the video, or in this in this part. <clears throat> All right, minimum altitude starting to go up now. So we're at 885. 
it's a ways to go yet. Let's come back out of time warp just a, like a little bit. Let me just do a burst of translation in the other direction. Just to bring that minimum altitude down, because now it's going up. All right. So we're almost 40 days out. Just, oops. Yeah, now we're 40 days out, 39, 38. So we're getting close. Probably be able to see Mars here in about another 10 days or so. I mean, it's not in my field of view at the moment. Back out of time warp for a second, and let's uh, just burst our translation a little bit to keep the minimum altitude closer to where we want it. I actually don't know where Mars is at, so let me just bring up F9 really quick, and... Alright, so it's over there, so we just need to yaw that way and down a little bit to see it, to have it in our view. Rotation. We come out of time warp. And... Just a bit down. Okay, I see it now. It's that spot right there. So kill, rotate, and time warp. Uh, mm, I'm not gonna. Boy, that kill, rotate doesn't take out all your momentum, does it? I used to have an add-on that would do that. When you'd kill, rotate, it would just zero out everything. <clears throat> 23, 24, 25, 26, 29, 30. Okay, we're 10 days out. Let's get a bit closer. Seven days out. All right, let's look at our target. So let me reference Mars. And let me go ahead and put it on the HUD. Um... Wait, wrong one. I want orbit. Reference Mars. And put that up onto the HUD. Now. Translation. Rotation. This will just help me find Mars a little bit better than. is basically right in front of us currently it's covered by the velocity vector all right so we're seven days out <clears throat> now I have to start thinking about what it is I'm gonna do when I get there atmospheric braking takes an eternity especially since I don't really I there there was a good way to do it uh, again I mentioned this coming back from the moon <clears throat> where you roll inverted and pitch the nose down to the atmosphere but it's really hard it's a lot it's more it's a trickier method than going into the atmosphere wings level uh, either inverted or not and then bleeding off your velocity that way I don't think I could do the trickier method I think I would probably most certainly fail at that um, I think what we can do though let me let me let me try to do it. What I'll do is let me get a bit closer to Mars. And I'll do a quick save. And if I melt the vessel, <laughs> we'll go back to the save point and try again. <clears throat> you know, because this is, I, I just need practice at this point. And I don't want to, I don't want to have to redo an entire flight. Just to practice one idea. So we're four days out. Let's get a bit closer. Minimum altitude is, uh, actually, let me just go close enough so I can have Mars as the SOI. Seems like a good time to stop. All 
All right, so we should be pretty close now. Yeah, we're less than a day out. All right, I don't think Mars is the SOI yet, though. And it should be now. Okay. So now if I go prograde, I should be going prograde to Mars and not prograde to the sun. All right. So th this seems like a good point to do a quick save. So let me go ahead and do that. So let's actually, so yeah, let's quick save. Let me pause. Let's go to the overlay. So we completed a mid-course correction. We're basically at Mars. So what I want to do now, um, this is like, this feels like a good place to be in case things just go catastrophically wrong. The point that I'm at right now <clears throat> is we're far enough out that we can still make some decisions, but we're close enough that we'll be able to get to Mars in just, you know, a few seconds of time work. So when we come back in the next video, I'm going to try an atmospheric braking maneuver. Um, and we'll just see how it goes. And if I fail miserably, we'll end that part of the video and then we'll pick back up right here where I'm at right now and try something else. So, you know, hopefully you can bear with me while I'm, you know, learning all the controls and learning everything again. I appreciate you. I appreciate your patience and understanding. So with all that said, um, yeah, I will see you in the next part.